okay? Let's go. Warm cheers. I made some recording in Polish. I think I should also make it in English. Something about the fail failure of the New Age gurus, fake preachers, and and poor quality healers. The failures of the New Age guru, poor teachers, poor poor quality healers. I'm just coming from my round, and um, I call it marathon. When I within four days. I do 39 plus driving time plus um, uh, loading car time because I load my car with LPG in L at L LPG station in Enfield, uh, um, London area. So, do um, once I did my run like um, 39 plus, so it's about 46 hours running. Uh, professional work with special carnating people and wherever I find this um, hard situations like people are very sick uh, different different diseases whether it's dementia or it's Alzheimer where there is Parkinson's or MS disease different diseases that they call it incurable cancer heart problems it's in asthma COPD um, Huntington disease They call it incurable whenever wherever I go and I research the disease I put online Hunting Huntington disease plant-based cure or cancer cure with plant-based diet or a heart disease cured by plant-based diet or I put uh, in search uh, COPD asthma healed with plant-based diet or I put in uh, research and I search MS disease multiple sclerosis disease healed with plant-based diet or I put online um, Alzheimer's Parkinson's disease uh, dem dementia healed with uh, diabetes healed with plant-based diet I find books and books and books and pages of the experts of the doctors of the teachers that yes all the diseases i mentioned you can cure with proper raw organic plant-based diet um, reverse them to a certain point re reverse them like 75 80 90 percent with plant-based diet and even 100 percent so like as you have the movie of the doctor uh, on physicians uh, on plant-based news channel if you search in YouTube doctor cures his MS disease 
with plant-based diet, you will find a doctor who was 35 years old when he was diagnosed to have multiple sclerosis, uh, MS disease. That is one of the worst diseases you can, that you can meet in my profession, where I meet hundreds and thousands of people as an emergency response specialist carer. So as an emergency response specialist carer, I meet hundreds and thousands of people after hospitals in different stages, and MS disease is one of the most uh, horrifying diseases where people sometimes cannot move, cannot swallow, cannot different functions of the body phys physiological and different functions they stop working and they can still talk then they can only whisper then ca they cannot even whisper and they can stay like that in this condition where the whole body is gradually giving up they stay in this conditions condition like for a year's time like for 10 20 30 years uh, bed bound and they don't have a clue that it's enough to find out online MS disease cure plant-based diet or doctor cures his MS disease with plant-based diet and they will find movie with a doctor who was about 35 on the plant-based news channel YouTube was an interview about two hours interview but he was about 35 when they diagnosed MS and he was horrified he got all this pinching chills and all these feelings that like he has a mess and soon he was unable to walk, he was unable to be independent, he was in a wheelchair, he was paralyzed in a wheelchair, he was, his body was giving up very soon, he was only 35, he was a young man, he was a doctor, so he said, I couldn't believe this happens to me, I couldn't believe this happens to me, this handsome, good-looking doctor who is just starting his career, uh, he started his career and he's a doctor, he has his patients. Well, he contacted the best professors and teachers he knew. Best professor and teach teachers he knew. He made a professor he admired and he asked about the cure for MS disease. And he found out, he got to hear that yes, you have to change your diet. We humans are not carnivores. Our digestive system, as I say, is. 10 to 12 times torso with carnivores is 3 to 6 times torso our digestive system is 20 times less acidic than carnivores if we try to hunt a chicken or a fish with our teeth and nails like the omnivores like bear who is omnivore our teeth and nails can fall apart but not the chicken not the fish our teeth and nails will fall apart but not the living a live uh, chicken or fish, not the duckling, not the lamb, not the uh, uh, not the cow. They won't fall apart if you try to hunt them like carnivores or omnivores. Bear is an omnivore. He goes into water and he hunts hunts the fish with his his teeth. Are you an omnivore? You walk on your four uh, into the waters. And you hunt the fish with your teeth and nails so all these freaks all these false gurus all these false prophets all these horrible healers temporary healers all this crap they won't tell you the basic news you are not a carnivore and you are not an omnivore you google it you research the experts you are frugivore typical frugivore creature and the base of your diet should be fruits. You cannot hunt fish, you cannot hunt chicken, you cannot hunt anything with your poor teeth, with your poor nails. Your digestive system is 20 times weaker than, uh, than carnivores. Your uh, digestive system is 10 to 12 times torso with carnivores is three to six times torso so this stuff is decaying in your body and causing all these toxic loads and all this body decaying i'm 50 year old vegan person the body is decaying the body is getting heavy the legs are getting swollen more and more swollen they are bursting because your lymphatic and your uh, digestive system cannot take it cannot deal with it anymore so um Yes, all the diseases, MS disease, heart disease, uh, COPD, um, diabetes, uh, Alzheimer, Parkinson's, um, Huntington disease, uh, 
All these worst diseases you cure with plant-based diet, you reverse it 75, 80, or 100%. Just Google and search Dr. Reverses His Own MS Disease on Plant-Based News Channel. So, you know, all these freak preachers, all these freak gurus, all these fake gurus, all these fake teachers, all these fake spiritual leaders, it's such a crap to such an extent that nobody calls it a shame, but it's, but it's much more deeper and much more rotten than a shame. So, um, some of such people attack me. Uh, lately, after, after my last movie where I mentioned my story, and I will keep mentioning my story, my past. Why? Because as an activist exposing child trafficking, exposing ritual abuse, psychological operation, operations, as an activist who exposes the mafia, the ritual abuse, uh, the different programs of mind control uh, and animals abuse, they can put me down, of course, even if I'm vegan, 50 year old and my results, my medical results are perfect. They can still uh, use electronic weapons and stuff to bother me and do stuff or, you know, in the time of the population, we don't know how long we'll be here. And I always prefer that I will tell my story and not somebody word from outside who hates me like Tatiana Bardoli or some others I will be telling my story accordingly to their fakeness and the lies and their hate, hatred and their superstition. So it's always better when I will say my story and I will say my story because each time I say my story is the warning and the lesson for the kids Whoever is listening to it, whether a few of you, just a few of you, of more of you, whoever is listening, each time I say my story, psychological operations, trafficking, it's a lesson for the kids. I don't, I don't complain. Do you see me smiling? You see me smiling. You see me joking. You see me having fun, having fun, just really recording these messages. But whenever I say my story, and I will repeat it because somebody could not see it in the past. Somebody could not hear it in the past. So I need to repeat it. Who is getting the most angry and full of hatred when I repeat my story? The pimps, the traffickers, the loose women, the loose women, the loose women who are selling themselves like a crab. Uh, and the pimps and traffickers and fake preachers and fake teachers and fake new new age gurus, the crap, they are most angry when I repeat my story. Uh, why should I remember my story? Because every spirit is coming to this planet with their own plan and their own spiritual uh, development lesson story or, or uh, manifestation. And all the new age crap is just corrupted and defeated when they try to put in one box in one one uh, bag of golden morals all the stories of all people some mo morals like somebody says and somebody lately told me cut away your past live with the future cut away your past live with the future i'm living in a past in a in a present time and in the future because that's my decision and that's my spiritual plan and that's my choice so this all kind of sayings by the new age guru new age created by jesuits by the secret societies by the crap mafia new age is a fake teaching is fake preaching is created by the new age gurus uh, who mostly do not even mention that human is not a uh, not a carnivore species <laughs> um, all their, all their teaching is collapsing, is defeated with one person who is following their spiritual knowledge and a deep spiritual, honest and frank recognition. It's enough one person who is conscious enough, who is strong um, personality, who has strong character. Uh, it's enough one person with strong character, strong personality, skills to express themselves, to defeat all the new age crap and all the new age teachings and all the fake gurus, fake religions, the sects calling themselves the religions, the creepy people, the creepy guidance of the blind guiding blind. They don't know where they go, but they go because everybody goes. They don't know where they go, but they just go because everybody goes. And, um, so it's enough one conscious person uh, 
who is researching the truth, the truth of the spirit, the compassion, not only to myself, not only to my family, not only to my friends, but also the, to the traffic kids, to the voiceless creatures, animals, is enough one person who is doing nice job, like a basic job, basic, basics, basic job with their spirit, spiritual research, to put down and to defeat all the new age crap. But they don't make out loud this one person. If she will be in music industry or public industry like I was, they will try to destroy her. So her voice doesn't come to the public, doesn't come out to the public. They won't be putting out her voice loud, out loud to the public. They will do everything to silence her voice, not to show the, the pity and the, the disgrace and the shame of all the fake preachings, teachings and temporally poor quality healings of people from the diseases who come from one disease to another. So I should tell my story before anybody else will tell it anybody with hatred, like Tatiana Bardelli, who was commenting under my last movie lately, you should forget your past, get a chop, uh, get a choppy, you know, like a kind, get some kind of block, hold on his pants, get some little blocks, little choppies with him, you know, uh, impreg get impregnated, get little choppies, and then multiply yourself, and let the choppies be uh, injected with all this 17 on 20 injections within the first years of the life so maybe they will survive and so get a choppy get a get a block uh, forget your past get a block get a choppy and get make all these little choppies let them be injected with like 17 20 injections and watch if they survive it uh, and um if they don't survive it, they may not get to schools, they may not be sent to schools, they may not get a right to uh, have, a, uh, have a possibilities to join some uh, schools or anything because, because they are not injected. So, get all this crap and load yourself with all these traditions. <laughs> Moment. There was a spiritual master, Tatiana Bardelli, when she was spamming me a couple of times and offending me for my... Uh, uh, paranoia because I remember my past and I like to remember it because each time I remember it is a lesson to our viewers. Each time I remember it is the pain in the ass of the traffickers. Each time I remember my story is, is the pain of the ass of the traffickers, is the pain of the ass of the satanic um, liars, pretenders, of the ones who control freedom of speech in music industry. So as they as they told me in music industry during my after the third year of my recording contract to stop sharing my thoughts and feelings with family and friends to put down my group children be safe not to speak against child trafficking and ritual abuse psychological operations not to expose uh, uh, bestiality on animals so they told me put down my group children be safe bound foster war and they uh, tried to force me to stop sharing my thoughts and feelings with family and friends so i need to repeat it because each time i repeat it is the pain in the ass of the people who commit crimes psychological and physical crimes and uh, black ritual crimes and they don't pay any consequences who is who is hurting the most uh, when i speak the truth the loose women the sellouts uh, the traffickers the satanic crap, liars and murderers and uh, people who cover up the stories of trafficked children and abused animals. Each time I remember that my story is the pain in their ass, not in my ass. I have a lot of fun with it. I have, uh, you see, it was said in the old scriptures, uh, sanctify them in the truth, your word is truth. Some Many of the old scriptures were manipulated, changed from the times of Anunnaki ancient civilization. You have it explained in the book of Joachim Hegopian, Pedophilian Empire, many chapters of the military command book endorsed by Robert David Steele, chief commissioner uh, in the tribunal for, uh, in, uh, for uh, exposing child trafficking, International Tribunal for Natural Death Justice, Robert David Steele, uh, Chief Commissioner uh, endorses uh, the book of uh, Joachim Hegopian, uh, Pedophilian Empire, 
Robert David Steele I was training over 8,000 people in 66 countries, military law and military intelligence representatives, exposing child trafficking. He was uh, the uh, main guy, one of the main guys who could expose child trafficking so loud in the international tribunals. So he's telling, he's endorsing the book by Joachim Hagopia, Pedophia and Empire. And then you have this, uh, all the story of the, from the ancient civilizations, how the uh, Israel, ancient Israelites were writing their scripts, the Bibles, under the command of Marduk left from Anunnaki civilization who were genetically modifying humans in uh, times of Neanderthal uh, and different, you know, um, genetic modification. Uh, so as we have now, now we have genetic modification, what is confirmed in the tribunals, what is confirmed in different and uh, medical studies, experts studies and tribunals that what people got this last year is that's genetic modification of the DNA. So uh, do you want, um, there you will find how they control the scripts, but some of these scripts still stay anointed and you can feel it in your heart. You may know that there is a lot of crap they put on us uh, uh, for the purpose of mind control and slavery and control via fear, con con control via uh, uh, the impression like they know some more than you know and they tell you about the God more than you can uh, realize about your creator and stuff and the uh, genetic modification of humankind and stuff. So they act like they are in power. They are in power to uh, embrace the information. They are in power to control your life. So they created the scripts throughout the years. But you know that some of the words are anointed. And you know that many of these words also come from the uh, real life of the master like, uh, who manif uh, manifested, for example, amazing miracles like Master Jesus called later the Christ. That is Christ initiation. Is Christ is the anointed by the creator, father, mother. So those information there uh, included. So like, uh, I like some of these uh, uh, words that I recognize because I recognize with my heart and my spirit as a real message, as a worthy message. So as do unto the others what, what, should, uh, what you want to be done unto you. So as sanctify them in their truth, your word is truth. So like from the beginning of the Genesis is mentioned, your word is truth. The beginning was uh, and the beginning of the creation uh, 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 beginning of the, the Genesis book is uh, at the beginning was there was word and then you have uh, mentioned your word is truth sanct uh, true sanctif sanctify them in your in their truth so it's mentioned all the time uh, referring to highest creator father mother God the all-seeing father mother God uh, we have the references to the um, profound truth and when the master uh, highly initiation initiated and uh, um, and uh, master after many studies uh, says says uh, they call him the good uh, you are the good Lord and he says don't call me good I'm the way the truth the life he says about himself I'm the way the truth and the life so the we have, you have the words, sanctify them in the truth, your word is truth in the scriptures. So to be sanctified is to be anointed, is to um, explore your power, it's to uh, develop your power, it's to get high, high forces of the high hierarchy sanctifying you with the power, with the uh, anointment that gets you more and more of the power. So it means that sanctify them in the truth. So accordingly to how true they are, accordingly to how real true and they are in the heart in the spirit in the conscious they are meant to be sanctified accordingly to how true they are in the conscious so i love this saying from the scripts not all of the uh, sayings of the scripts are to me perverted and altered because we know that a lot of it was perverted and altered you can study it through the history you can study it from different sources even studying theology so as i did you learn about these alterations and a changing of the scripts uh, different uh, dogmas and changes in the different scripts for the purpose of control of the mob of the masses 
Uh, but here I love, for example, this word, sanctify them in the truth, your word is truth, uh, suggesting that if they are true, in their truth, they are meant to be sanctified, they are meant to be anointed, they are meant to develop the powers, the spiritual powers that are the most important powers for us to develop. We don't, don't appear in here as a ready body. We are created from the energy, energy, protons, neutrons, electrons, energy in every cells of our body. We leave this body as an energy. We leave this body vehicle. We get the body vehicle, we develop it in our energy, and then we leave this body vehicle, but our reality is the energy. And so this energy is sanctified, is uh, empowered, is bursting with power when we live in truth. And there is many of these pimps, the traffickers, the loose women, the, the wicked women, who, who are sellouts, who sold out themselves. So now they are envy when they see, I realized my plan differently. I didn't sell out myself. And if I repeat this story, they are getting oh, how mad. Uh, uh, I don't know when, when, where Tatiana Bardelli is coming from, but she was attacking me already years ago, trying to preach her preaching. Uh, she couldn't agree what I was telling about uh, the animal products, not only meats, but also dairy and eggs products that they have nothing common with our spirituality to eat the products of torture, of rape of the animals, uh, constant, constant rape, constant taking away of the babies, constant torture to eat and consume the products of the torture is just lowering our energy down and is causing all the diseases that are meant to be, that are meant to be because uh, brutality, if you are brutal, you deserve brutal, uh, brutal feedback. So it's causing all the brutality. So like um, later on, people get sick, sick and more sick. Um, the, uh, do unto the others what you want to be done unto you. You torture, you keep torturing. You don't take responsibility for your deeds, actions. Well, one day you may be not be able to take responsibility because the body vehicle cannot take it anymore. The body vehicle can uh, take it only to a certain extent and we are not a hunters we can try to hunt the fish and chicken but we will damage our teeth and nails before we ever tear it apart with our nails and teeth so um the fake preachers the fake teachers uh, lately i was attacked by uh, the same person who was uh, who was very uncomfortable with me uh, years ago tatiana bardelli her comments appeared as user user blah 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 some numbers some letters user blah 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 uh, that's how she appeared in my channel when you look straight on youtube but in my notification the same comment i received a notification that was tatiana bardelli the same person who was very uncomfortable with me years ago when I was mentioning the brutality of dairy and X products and meat products. So uh, her idea about my life was this is paranoid that I remember my story, that I uh, repeat my story. This is I should find a chubby, ch uh, uh, chubby, uh, you know, some kind of a pan holder uh, and Find a chubby, find a block, make all these little chubbies all around, chubbies all around, and then get them injected 17 or uh, 20 times, so maybe they will still be alive. And then they put them in the system, yes, regardless they are happy or they are uh, horrified. So, so I uh, say to Tatiana, sorry, darling, but uh, sorry, uh, sorry, woman. Uh, and I didn't let you to turn to me per you. Uh, you can still turn to me, Mrs. Uh, Miss Miss Ivona. Uh, and sorry, but you know my mind is not like a, a little block, and my brain is not like a little block. And I am imagining my story, and I am creating my future, and I am. I can live in my past just as much as I want to. I can live in my past for the best thing I survived. And I can, I can live in my presence like I hardly stand on the ground. Because you maybe find a choppy, you hold on to his uh, pants strong, uh, so you get this, uh, you know, little 
tips for your life and he can he can uh, sponsor you but i had a you know why the horizons of my imagination to create my reality the, the, the way I create. And what I exposed in my past, I will repeat to your request one more time, your request, <laughs> one more time. And I have a lot of fun re remembering it. And especially that this history was uh, encouraged by the officer who likely British officer who asked me about my experiences of trafficking. I, I remember my story many times because it was never solved by the system. The criminals, the traffickers, the liars, the pretenders, the perverts never paid consequences. I can remember my story very well and I can remember it having fun. So having fun, I can tell this, um, uh, that what I survived was like real psychological operations. And in my personal life, when I was thinking of finding a, a a, a great soulmate but I met many traffickers and very wicked people psychological operations abusers uh, Dariusz Krysa from Germany who was impresario for shaking duty who was trying to make a little romances with me uh, forgot to tell me he has a wife and children um, who was impresario for shaking duty uh, who made a little career in Germany uh, was playing little games with my brain a uh, very very toxic uh, situation uh, the horrible criminal who is working in new age and in the facilities for um, natural medicine treatment the horrible entity uh, absolutely dangerous uh, psychological abuser uh, Gennady Pushnov Gennady Pushnov in his lectures uh, for uh, women as a doctor he was trying to date his patients in Poland including me hiding that he has wife in uh, Russia somewhere in Russia in this Eastern uh, uh, blocks hiding he has a wife he was trying to um, engage in uh, relations different women his patients absolute psychological abuser who was uh, who was conducting these different trainings why women should be a loose women why they should have uh, relations with men uh, having uh, just only for a little moment for sex time and that's it and forget about the story a very dangerous uh, psychological abuse criminal who uh, who was uh, uh, trying to engage me in relation and then was lying that he has incurable disease so i don't research the truth about him uh, because I'm all horrified about his, uh, if I get engaged emotionally, I'm horrified about his incurable disease. The nice and quality doctor Stanisław Sempel, uh, a very good therapist and very good quality doctor Stanisław Sempel told me that Gennady Pushnov committed a crime trying to seduce many of his patients, tr telling a fake story. Uh, putting upon them a horror and terror that he has some incurable disease uh, involving enga engaging them emotionally and then uh, ter horrifying them that he has some incurable disease so absolutely ab absolute psychological crime Gennady Pushnov who was still continuing his uh, medical treatments all around in Poland in different uh, natural cure centers absolute crap absolute he showed the patient some things like you know some equipments to measure and screen the aura bio bioenergomagnetic field but absolute uh, criminal uh, so before i found the relation where i felt happy for a moment of my life i met quite a uh, quite a few abusers that were a horror to my uh, my very sensitive uh, emotions very sensitive spirit with a very big potential and very sensitive spirit. They were horror to me, these abusers, these liars, these psychological operations, uh, game players. Then I met military intelligence officer in Yemen that I mentioned and Tatiana Bardali suddenly gets crazy and mad and horrified and just uh, gets some uh, foam around her mouth um, when she hears that I remember my story again. Um, the pimps are very angry about this so my music industry and um, former 
uh, record label agents wanted me to forget my story and they told me directly to forget my story. Why should I forget? From my past, I can take the best to have a vision for the future, something that I can create something similar or about or around what I what was the best in my past, what was the most amazing in my past. I can keep in my vision, keep it in my memories, keep it in my feelings to create something that uh, recalls these best feelings, best emotions, best, most wonderful feeling like for a moment of being loved or something. I can recall these feelings to create them in the future. So I take my past in a positive attitude to create my future and to whatever it will be, whether this, this life or my future life, I take the best from the past to have a vision and to have re uh, the remembrance and the feeling of this emotion, of the best emotions in my life for the future, for the visions of the future. And I live in the present time. Oh, I live very hard. Tatiana, you who offend me, you should, you deserve, you truly deserve to live like I do and to work like I do. Instead of hugging this chubby, chappy for his, tugging his pants, pants so he can provide for your life, instead of his, these ideas that women women should be uh, getting this uh, this uh, chop this this uh, this chappy and uh, and having this block so he will provide for them life maybe you should learn from me some more skills and some wider horizon of thinking of imagination that you can create your reality that you can work 40 plus hours a week 40 plus driving plus loading your car about 50 hours a week hard intense work so then you have after that if you do this 50 hours within four days then you can have three days for recording music for uh, making movies like I do or you can do gardening nice gardening or you can do painting or you can do any artistic skills like uh, poetry or anything why not you should maybe you should maybe try in your paranoid mentality like you call me paranoid because I remember my past to develop the vision in the future to develop uh, in my uh, music creativity the from the best feelings for the wonderful from the wonderful feelings that I experienced in my past the feelings to my mother to feelings to the man I've loved uh, I can uh, maybe today this is not the same person but i can still remember the feelings i can still recall them and i can still recall the best emotions i used to live to create my songs to create the beautiful love message in my music so this is my choice and this is my life and this is the plan of my spirit and if you cannot imagine it in your uh, narrowness of your brains uh, then uh, maybe you should uh, extend your skills and possibilities and imaginations and uh, create a life as a woman work like i do 50 hours a week intensely driving all around london burning one and a half canister of lpg 57 liters canister one and a half in four days every week so together uh, six canisters 57 liters six canister lpg every month maybe you should do that drive as much and then work 50 uh, 50 hours intensely in in a uh, special care um emergency care um and life care uh, for vulnerable vulnerable people and then for animals doing some charities for animals and then making records for animals for charities for um uh, like for animal rights children rights and then maybe you should um should maybe um, uh, develop your skills in whichever you don't have to do record music you can paint you can uh, write poetry whatever you please my dear but uh, you tell me what is your vision for life this block you know this little block get a chappy uh, hold on to his trousers strong let them the pockets let them the pockets uh, provide you the money and uh, make a little chappies a lot of little chappies inject them with 17 injections before they so you will check if they can still breathe and stay alive and and um, so i highly recommend to you tatiana that you try an experience like mine you want to uh, push on me your imaginations and visions try for a few days an experience like mine i will see how you will deal with it and um, but maybe maybe you will have at least satisfaction like i have
more satisfaction with your chappy, <laughs> more satisfaction than with your chappy, but a satisfaction like my satisfaction when I create something the way I want to and the way I choose to do. So, um, nobody uh, in the new age, in the fake preaching, fake, fake teaching, there is an idea that there is a one box for everybody. There is a one box of sentences, one box of morals and one box of uh, golden thoughts for everybody. And everybody should follow this one box of golden thoughts. There are millions of them, but there is a box of golden thoughts that everybody should follow. It's the fake preaching, fake teaching and this paranoia that you actually presented offender uh, on me. It's not my paranoia, it's your paranoia. Uh, when you offended me that I remember my past. I remember my past for everything that can be useful in the future. Uh, but you hold on to this one box of your imaginary uh, psychosis that everybody has to have the same way. So every woman has to grab the chappy, make a little chappies, get them injected millions of times and watch if they still stay alive and cope with the system, put these babies in the system as a slaves, modern day slaves. So um, your idea can be extremely paranoid to me, you know. Uh, I believe uh, you may need some more satisfaction. So maybe you should take ex example and look at my life, what I'm doing with my present time, my past time for the present time and for the future and my creativity for anywhere I go from now on. Um, so, yes, that's what I said. And what I experienced with the relation when I loved, and I repeat it, uh, it was not like a normal, normal situation. It was like a wonderful, extreme romance in a oriental country, Yemen, climbing the mountain together, enjoying the best times from the time of shyness, from the ch time of shyness and from uh, defending myself from the loving feeling because I didn't want to ha break my heart. So I was trying for a moment to defend myself from this loving feeling, not to break my heart, but then experiencing something amazing in this Jeep that was later on left on in front the front door of the hotel, the Jeep with the bent door where I spent some time with Paul. Um, and then watching it left after he left Yemen a few hours before me and a few hours later I was leaving Yemen and the hotel, Five Star Hotel and this jeep was still in front of this door of the hotel where you don't leave cars because you have to move them immediately but that was very memorable uh, jeep, silver, silvery jeep with a hardly uh, hard bent door uh, so um, the, these amazing uh, flashbacks of memories this amazing you know passionate relation amazing passionate relation climbing the mountains together first uh, first gentle kiss on the top of the mountain uh, Jebel Shamsan then the way he was trying to carry me because my sandal was broken carry me down in this light of the moon but I didn't let him I didn't want him wanted him to think uh, of my kilograms because, because I said my god he now he'll carry my body and I will he will think of my uh, my weight so all this amazing flashback of memories maybe this person is not the same today maybe he organized his life other way I never got to know what what was the truth what was lie because he was in these services of the military intelligence that he was not allowed to have a private life so these extreme moments of times when he loved me like tomorrow never comes and then he was telling me but i cannot love and then again and then but i cannot love then i was left for a weeks and weeks without a message from him but then suddenly after weeks and weeks a message can he see me in poland then loving me like tomorrow never comes then telling me but i cannot love loving me like tomorrow never comes but then telling me he checked many of them of girls of women for what for finding the right one or for trafficking trafficking them into this five-star hotel places for the military traveling diplomats and stuff 
I don't know, but he didn't look like a victim. He looked more like uh, he didn't look like an abuser. He did not look like an abuser. He looked like more like a victim of the psyops and this specific sign in his business card, pointing Freemasonry sign. Uh, so he looked not like a person who is going to abuse me, but more like a victim. And then again, I was left uh, for the next time, another time, and another time in Poland and wondering what's up with him, not getting messages for a week's time. And I was trying to meet somebody else to forget about this relation that tears my heart apart into pieces from the emotions and from the horror that he leaves me without message. And then again, I get message from him that he may come to Poland and can, he may see me. And again, loving me like tomorrow never comes. Like tomorrow never comes. Telling me, I don't ask about marriage, but he tells me that he cannot get married because so many of his friends died before the age of 40 in the military marine intelligence operations, the cult operations, the secret societies, ritual abuse operations, sacrificing the men who were too true or too brave to follow with the creepy cults, Jesuit military order cults. So, and then again, after next time, third time, he's about to visit me, to love me like tomorrow never comes, and again to, to tell me, but I cannot love. So I think to myself, you cannot love? Who told you this? Who did this to you? Love is the best thing you can find in life. If you end up on this end life bed, the best thing you can ever do for yourself is to think of love, to recall love and all her colors and feelings and emotions of love to recall them this is the best thing you can do for your lifetime uh, to feel love to feel good emotion you get married for this most beautiful moment in your life being or, or you are with a beloved person to experience the best emotion in your life to um, to uh, spread this feeling all around you wherever you appear that this feeling exists, this proof that this feeling exists, that is so magnificent, the, the most wonderful nobility of God, the love, the highest nobility of God. And then you, the highest energy, the creative energy, the love, the loving feeling. And then when the child comes to this planet, comes from love and the love that a proper and caring mother feels for the child, the father feels for the child, is again the best and most magnificent feeling you ever create. You adopt a pet, you rescue a pet, the love that you have for this pet is the most amazing fe feeling that you spread all around you, that you experience and that you dare to experience to be able to spread all around you this feeling. The memories of love, what I have left after uh, after all my experiences with my mother, with the people who used to love me, or with Paul, the memories of love, whoever they are today, whatever they do today, the memories are the best feelings that allow me to spread, spread the best emotions and best ener energy all around me and through my music. I'm not, not going to give up on them. Through this music, through these visions, I can create a next future. But the best things I can take from my past is the memories and the recognition and the re recalling of these feelings of love, the best, biggest love I've ever felt. So, um, such operation like loving a young woman, young, naive and most ardent intentions woman like tomorrow never comes and then leaving her for a week's time without message for time passing by without message and then again coming and loving her like tomorrow never never comes but telling her but I cannot love but I cannot get married even though she's too discreet discreet to ask about marriage she's not asking about marriage 
She wants him to do what his heart tells him to do. So she's not asking such a questions like marriage because she wants him to feel free to make his choices and not under pressure. So then he loves her like tomorrow never comes, then again tells her, but I cannot love. But my friends died early and I saw their wives crying over their funerals, graves, and then leaving, leaving her again, again for weeks of silence when her heart is tearing apart, apart jumping on to the throat and she does not know what to do with her, but emotions and her emotions, her young body is screaming, calling out for love, for a good relation. And even the mother who gives this mother no love expects from her and even the father expects from her to find the love of her life and the male, the soulmate of her life. And she's, her body and her mind is, and her emotions are calling for love, calling out for love. And there is no messages from the man who, who made her feel so happy. And then left for a week again in silence and then again another visit, third visit third meeting and loving her like tomorrow never comes but again telling but he cannot love and leaving her without messages when she asks for explanation he tells that he he organized his life he's happy that he got married he's happy but he had no reason to get married, he had vasectomia, he had no reason to get married and he's, he was telling just a few weeks ago he's not going to get married because all of his friends in age of 40, 30, they are passing away in the military intelligence creepy psyops concern, industrial complex, very quickly, very, very fast. They. They are gone. So he had no reason to get married. So he has he's happy, but then he's crying. Then what she le she's left with is the crying on the voicemail. She tries to understand the truth. She sends messages for years time. She tries to send messages, find the answer. But the last thing she could hear was the crying on the voicemail. The crying on the voicemail was the last thing she could hear. He's crying, desperate like. <laughs> Silent crying on the voicemail. Was that him? She was left, this young woman was left with a feeling that somebody can love you like tomorrow never comes. Make you happy like you couldn't imagine in your best dreams. And then leave you in a permanent trauma wondering what was true, what was fake, where did I do right, where did I do wrong, I try to forget about this relation, I tried twice to meet somebody else, I tried to defend my heart from this relation that was tearing my heart apart, but after all she knows nothing, she knows nothing, she doesn't know what was the reason, what was the true, true story, what was fake, they were telling her he they killed him they were telling her he, they were experimenting on him in some medical place they were telling her he's okay he's in a high position of military they were telling her he maybe loves her he deserves her she deserves him but she never knew which of these contradictory stories was the true story. So a woman left in such a state exposing psychological operations has the memory, the memory caught in herself. You can be loved like tomorrow never comes. You can be happy like you couldn't imagine in your best dreams ever. And then can, you can be left like a piece of piece of worn out clothes, cloth, and left in trauma, left in lack of knowledge, 
and you can, your heart can be wounded in all possible way when every day seems like a another series of wounds. She's left with this feeling, this memory of the man she loved the most, that she can hurt her the most. What she can do? She can she can start doubting about any man, man at all. She can forget that a man can represent a strong character and care about her emotions. She forgets about that. He could care about her emotions, the person she loved the most, and he loved her like tomorrow never comes. He may not care about her emotions. And she associates every man with danger. She can eventually, in such a state of mind, being trafficked by the pimps, liars, pimps and perverts in music industry, she can she can develop a perverted relations for money only, but not for love. Or if she doesn't have a nature of prostitute, like I don't have a nature of prostitute. She may stay very lonely and keep all the men away. If she had a mind and a tendency to become perverted, like a loose woman, she could forget about love, make it only for money, with all these diplomats, all these visitors in Five Star Hotel, all the politicians in Five Star Hotels, all the military command having their time time and nights in five star hotels if she was a pervert if she was wicked if she was rotten from inside if she had all these filthy demons already inhabiting her soul then she could um, become a prostitute but if she was dreaming of love like a little child and she was protecting this part of her nature that is true and honest and wants to follow her heart and dignity. She will keep all the male relations away. She will stay alone. She will try to understand her story. She will try to understand her story, but she may stay alone until she understands it. And, um, and here is how I explain psychological operations to people who have very little or no knowledge of it or to the people who have this bit of in intellect and can recognize it. So, uh, Nazis and all these sectors, all these industrial complexes of Nazis, Ashkenazis, Nazis, who are controlling military, were developing a different different patterns of mind control for many, many years before I lived my story. Kathy O'Brien is telling a lot about it. So, Project Paperclip, Project Mockingbird, Mass Mind Control, Project Monarch Mind Control, Project MK Ultra. they were developing a huge variety of mind control projects, long time long time when all the masses were fast asleep and if you try to understand anything out of your story and the story of the world you should know at least a few movies or a little movie one movie about the projects for mind control and google online darpa mind control choose the images and you have hundreds and hundreds of articles about the modern projects of mind control via electronic scanning, harassment, and different operations, DARPA mind control. And so, so for a basic knowledge, you should try to recognize it for the safety of your children, because procreation of the children has nothing in common with your love to the children. If you don't try to arm them arm your children with psychological strength, with knowledge, with consciousness about the world they live in, 
procreating of the children to make them another of the work slave. Unaware person who may travel to different countries and be assaulted by the different pimps and traffickers. And then trying to perform on stage through the tears, procreating children to challenge them with times when they don't want to exist. It's not a work of art. It's not a love. It's just your ego. Maybe you did it just for money, for some extra money. But it's not a love. It's not love to the children. It's your ego. Unless you try to be a strong person, character. Arm yourself with the knowledge, the psychological knowledge, with the knowledge how to protect your child. And what is, go what is going on in the world. Because you, if you take your knowledge from the schools and from the TV, you have no knowledge about the world you live in. You have zero knowledge about the world you live in. About all the psychological operations that are ruling the schools, the education, educational system, the mainstream media sewage, as the uh, amazing experts, independent doctors, independent experts, activists, name it righteously, the mainstream media sewage. Do you believe you have knowledge because you watch or listen to some mainstream media sewage? So. There is different patterns of psychological operations. One of the patterns is to select a woman like they told me, William Litigate from Targeted Individuals, that I was selected as a Stasi mind control target. They select a target. This can be me, this can be you, this can be any of your children. I don't wish to any of you. And then they make the patterns of mind control that will, that will, um, De uh, determine, determine what she does with her life in the future. And in many cases, the pattern works. A woman sent to a distant country. She leaves a hand heartbreak. She feel, leaves the love of her life. She's treated like the woman who have a chance to become happiest ever, happiest ever, happiest ever. And then she leaves the heartbreak from the most wonderful relations, she leaves, she leaves the most horrible heartbreak. And then she is sent to more and more countries where all these men re remind her the story, recall her the story. You cannot be love. He can love you like tomorrow never comes with passion that never ends. But then he can tell you that he cannot love you. And with this pattern, she will be afraid to create personal relation she must un she may unless deprive herself and become uh, perverted for money for survival following the survival instinct that she may never try to make a close relation again and that's most possible in this kind of operation if Paul was this abuser, Paul Robert Bullard, if he was the abuser, I need to tell you he looked a lot, a lot like a victim. And he was not joking, telling that they block his salaries, that he make him making problems because he meets me. And when he was, when his eyes were close to tearing, the tears were filling his eyes. And he said, I must go to the bathroom not to cry, not to cry as a small boy. He didn't look like an abuser. He looked like a person who tried his best in the most disgusting, sick, atrocious circumstances that is the military mind control abuse. He didn't look like an abuser. And the last thing I could hear him was the weeping on the voicemail. So I couldn't believe that he's happy. I couldn't believe that he made a happy relation, happy life. Because the last thing I could hear one time and then a couple of months later, the other, again the record with the weeping, <laughs> silent weeping. I couldn't have a clue what was true, what was fake. Was he happy? Or was his life under the sick 
most atrocious, most horrible control of the Freemasonry because he carried the sign of Freemasonry in his business card. And you already get to know a bit about the rituals and that is exposed in my group, in my Rumble account. You already get to know a bit about the Freemasonry rituals, degree by degree. It doesn't mean that uh, bad people go into Freemasonry. No, the men who have appetite for power, for control, or just to develop their dreams and big ideals, they go to Freemasonry. Sometimes they just want to develop their dreams, their passions, their ideals, their talents and their possibilities. But then they get to know about the rituals. Then they get to know about the following the great rituals that are so atrocious, are so sick, so devastating to man's dignity that you can't find words to express it. Listen to the interview with Bill Schnellaben in my Rumble channel. So, um, so uh, there's different patterns of mind control projects. If, if you had a little tiny bit of intellect, the woman who offends me, if you had a little bit of intellect, you could see the whole picture and how important it is that I remember my past. And with a true passion, and many times entertaining myself, I remember very details, the way they locked down all the music for the tourists who paid 2,000, 3,000 euro for the Crown Plaza Hotel in Sham and Shake, huge hotel with plenty buildings. They turned off all the music that was meant to be down the beach from the early morning until p.m. time. And then there were shows, there were another shows in the evening that I was performing on the beach and I was performing in a music club and uh, above the swimming pool for all the elites and stuff. They turn off the music, uh, the morning music, that was not my performance, that was the morning music was the Tanura dance, Egyptian folkloristic folk Tanura dance, acrobatics, uh, aerobics for children, uh, sports in water for children. The beautiful Italian world music was turned off and not playing for days and days and days. And when I ask animation team, what's going on? Why the artists employed, they, they are ready for work, but they cannot work. There is no music, there is such a silence. And the tourists paid for it, paid for activities down in Crown Plaza Hotel. They tell me because the GMs put their luxurious pl prostitutes in the most expensive apartments down the Crown Plaza Hotel Beach. And the call girls, the loose women were calling, sorry, I want to sleep longer. Can you turn off the music? And they turned off activities for, the, for which the guests paid. Turn off the music activities. So they let them, the prostitutes sleep longer. The prostitutes of the GMs, Crown Plaza Hotel and Savoy Hotel GMs and other, other prominent who were inviting me to these parties, to these orgies many times, times mentioned. And when I addressed it to the animation team manager, a young woman, animation, very sharp young woman, animation team manager, and I said, do you know what the people say? Do you know the, what the animation team says? That the GMs turn off the activities for the guests because the prostitutes, there's prostitutes couldn't sleep enough long. She said to me, Shamsan, you, she looked at me with the, all this hate she could collect in her eyes. She said, Shamsan, you know, you don't know what the life is. You are naive. That's the way the life is. You are naive. That's the way the life is. That they rob, robs, that, that they steal uh, from the guests of the five-star hotels their money to satisfy the prostitutes. So, you know, so I got to know so much and see to so much. And each time I remember this story, the pimps, the satanic liars, the perverts, the, this, don't call it a man because this, this is some kind of a, a entity who desperately needs a treatment. Sick, this is dirty, this can carry all kind of venereal diseases within him. 
with her, with him, sick. All kind of crap can go through that all kind of not only venereal disease but all this filthiness filthiness of the demons. So he carries, she carries in him, they need a hard treatment. All these poor victims of trafficking who had no choice, who had no choice because there are people who are fighting like I did, not to be a prostitute, but to survive. Not to be a prostitute, but to survive. Not to be a prostitute, but to survive in music industry and to be back in Poland alive. All these poor traffickers who didn't, uh, sorry, all the poor, poor children who are young people who didn't have a choice, who didn't have a chance to win, who didn't have a chance uh, the rescue of this amazing and uh, supernatural source to survive. They need a hard treatment because their emotions, their lives are just devastated. And what Robert David Steele said in the tribunal, International Tribunal for Natural Justice, these traffic children live a, a two to four years longer, and that they are being just utilized for organs harvesting. Robert David Steele, Chief Commissioner, International Tribunal for Natural Justice, these children traffic into sex industry live to three to four years longer, and then there is organs harvesting. These are victims. They need treatment of the rotten, filthy crap of the secret societies. So, so folks, um, my deep condolences to this very limited intellect that couldn't recognize the value of the work that I do each time I remember my story. My most honest and deep condolences to all these limited little pieces of brick, because it's hard to call a brain, who couldn't imagine the value of the job that I do each time I remember my story. Each time I remember my story. I know what psychological operation is. I know what was going on when I was speaking too much. I know the guns shooting, waking me up at night, three o'clock, with six short sh shots um, when I was in bed in Austin, just after I published about 70 posts that previous evening with the movie of um, Douglas Dietrich, military investigative librarian, the movie How Military Control Pedophile Rings. Just after that evening, when I posted it about 70, 80 times into different groups on Facebook, they were blocking my one channel I was sending from an agent channel. They were blocking my, this account I was sending from another account. And then finally they blocked like, numerous my, of my accounts. They blocked, they just put down my accounts. But as long as I was existing, I was bumping the Facebook with the interview with Douglas Dietrich, military librarian, investigative librarian, pointing a um, psychological operation general Michael Aquino raping all these kids and the psychological operations of making super soldier from little kids through tortures. What was happening? The shooting of the guns was waking me up at night. We're still trying to guess. Will they make money from me? Will I, will I pervert myself? Will I have enough when these black helicopters uh, do circles above my head and I dig the field, the farm of the teacher to survive after my recording contract when they owed me approximately $30,000 and I dig the frozen ground, frozen soil to plant these tulips, to plant these flowers, to plant these veggies in this teacher's pro huge residential property. The black helicopters were doing circles above my head. Do you have enough? Do you have enough? We invested into your, into your producers. We invested into your, um, your musicians. 
we invested into your recording contract. Will you follow the requirement? Put down your group, children be safe. Don't share your thoughts and feelings with family and friends. Folks, Tatiana and all the haters of a woman strong like me, who is using her past to create the future. You don't have to say thank you to me. I will say thank you to myself. Learn, you haters, to live hard as I do, in my past, in my present, in my future, the way I choose to do. Try a little moment of it. Warm cheers. And my best cheers to all the vegans around the world, all the people who consider the mercy for children and animals, warm cheers. You did the most who consider the mercy for the children, for animals, warm cheers to people with conscience and heart who weren't transferred into some genetically modified hybrid by the system. Warm cheers to all people with conscious heart and enough intellect to appreciate that Yvonne Shamsan is perfectly remembering her past and making the warning for your kids, for your future, for your life and for the destiny of your spirit so you can take the best of it as much as you can. Because if all of you were the voice for the truth, then most of your children were safe, had a chance to be safe now and in the future. Okay, that was a very intense run. Uh, and now it's time for some rest. I'll work with these records and I'll have a lot of fun. And if you haters call the fact that I remember my past paranoid, how much more, how much more paranoid I call your limited brains, your limited imagination, your limited intellect that you cannot appreciate and say thank you for somebody who is fighting for the safety of the kids and the animals with each testimony she shares in public. And she will keep sharing, and she will keep repeating the way as you, fake teachers, fake preachers, keep preaching and keep repeating the same scripts on and on and on and on, never proving your true mercy, never true proving the nobility of your characters and personalities. The way a simple vegan girl will be sharing and repeating the stories that are worthy to be repeated for the safety, security, mercy and some sound mind of the entities on this planet. Okay? Let's go. Warm cheers. <laughs>